This is Adam and Eve in its simplified version. Why does Adam come first? When you say Adam and Eve, you don't say Eve and Adam. You know why? Because it's odd and even. Add, A-D. A-M. Add one to M. You get N. Well, let's think about what that would be. One plus a three thing is a completely forward thing. It's four. But what that means is A-D and then A-M. M is the first letter of the second half of the alphabet. A is the first letter of the first half of the alphabet. That's an ongoing thing. That's basically the, the most prime version of OM that you could think of. O-H-M or O-M, OM. A-U-M, OM. So when you say Adam, that's odd. When you say even or Eve, that's even. Now, what does that mean? See, we live in a world where what keeps us balanced is our feminine, divine feminine nature. What is nurturing, what is love, what is accepting, what helps you learn, what helps you grow. That, the nurturing, the mother. Adam is the masculine thing. When you go against the odds, you're applying yourself. You're putting something into what is already. You're taking the odds, the atoms, the masculine. You're applying it. So when they say, don't eat the apple, they're saying, don't apply yourself. What they want you to do is they want you to keep it all pent up. They don't want you to serpent. They don't want you to, you know, repent is to take back. To serpent is to serve your pension, to serve what you have pent up. That's what that means. It's not some snake. It's not some scary, spooky thing that they give you in a book that says, don't eat apples, what the fuck? I mean, stupid. I'm not trying to put it down, but I'm trying to tell you what it truly means. Adam and Eve, underneath the, the people, the names, the clothes, the, the garbage we have put over all the things that we are, there's a masculine energy and a feminine energy. We break it down to science and math, which is numbers and symbols. That's odd and even. That's how we keep count. If we were all odd, we wouldn't be able to stand because we wouldn't be balanced. We have to have the, the masculine and the feminine. The masculine moves us forward. The feminine keeps us nurtured and kept together. We need to keep the divine feminine. But right now we've pushed so hard that women are trying to be masculine. Women are trying to be tough. Women are trying to be out there making a name for themselves, which is fine, I guess. But when you think about what the divine feminine nature is, that's not it. That's the divine father. The divine moving forward, further, father, further, faith, father. Why do you think those words all apply to each other? Because they're the same thing in different tenses. What I'm trying to explain to people is something that's been right here in front of your eyes, but unless you were there to see what the symbols and the shapes meant before they became people who distorted them, you don't understand just because you hear it, because you believed words the way you've always heard them. They look the same. But they'll, you'll see they mean so much more when you look at them completely with your eyes open. And then you listen to what everyone says. Oh, the Congress. Con, G, generate, reoccurring expression, source upon source. They're trying to con you and to gress with them. What is aggression? What is when you give your discretion, your aggression? Gress means to put something forward into it. Gress, to aggress, to regress, to any of that kind of stuff. To gret. When you regret something, you want to take back what you've put forward and added. Gret. See, these words are right in front of you, but you didn't see these math problems because the people teaching you didn't know because no one taught them and no one before them knew to teach them. So when somebody comes out and can show you what they mean, people first get their emotions involved and say, I didn't know this, so now I feel dumb, so now he's making me, th he thinks I'm dumb. I don't think anybody's dumb. I think everyone's brilliant. I just think they've been taught at a very handicapped level from people who are just trying to make a name for themselves or be the best they can along with a world that was prescribed to them or told, hey, follow this description. Hey, follow these definitions. Hey, follow these guidelines because if you go outside of them, you're not welcome in the group. But a world where everything is possible means there's something outside those guidelines. There's something outside the pages of those books. There's something outside what you think everything is. There isn't anything outside of what I know things are, because I've been there. 
That's a weird thing to go around saying all the time, but it's the life I have. It's who I've always been, and it's what Dan Alexander was gifted to wake up to. Just like everybody else is able to. But they've got to do some deep stuff that you can't see on the outside. The surface level doesn't mean anything. Once you get beneath it, people can't see it. Only you know how much you apply. So do eat the apple. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, but why would God say don't eat the apple? That's people who wrote that book because they don't want you to apply yourself. That's what the story of Adam and Eve means. And I don't care what any Bible says, I know, because I told the story before it became distorted. It was spirit to spirit, not physical people to physical people using words and symbols. It was the truth. And that's what I'm trying to do the best I can is put the truth into words so you can understand it better to what it really is. That's Adam and Eve. There's much more. But until next time, peace.